we're going to do that thing again where we rank every team's something. And that something this week is the most underrated player from each team. I found this quite tough. I found it very hard, actually. Yeah, I did find this quite tough. Because um, I found a lot of people either just had shit players or were just no, good. shit in general. Yeah, right. really good. Yeah. I also don't have anyone from Sheffield United. <laughs> um, I got one. Why? I just thought they're just all pretty crap. Pretty I feel like I'm going to get shouted at for like uh -huh. every single choice I've made for every single team. Go, go on, Lewis. Do you start this time? So we obviously start with Liverpool. Um, okay, We're not working our way up. Oh, oh shit sorry yeah um, uh, well this guy has literally only just joined but he's played very well and I think he's underrated um, Brereton yes I'd agree with that two you games know, two goals you know prior to joining Sheffield United he hadn't scored in like 25 he's, no he didn't, he didn't since he changed he his good. name he's decent yeah. man yeah he's good I yeah. actually well, that, was, that was the only player I was going to put down yeah I'm looking through the Liar. team it's like yeah, it's it all like fuck me um, oh. is that, did you put him down as Diaz. well uh, Burnley I put Odebert he's 19 years old um, my Burnley <laughs> will be you don't even know that is you <laughs> yes I do he's 19 he's French um, <laughs> Odebert yeah I'm going to stick with Brownhill I really like Brownhill yeah I'm going to go Charlie too <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the best players you don't know who he is, do you? <laughs> no, he's an underrated player, man. He's coming through <laughs> too many well. Coming through. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> coming through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on then. Uh, Everton, I've gone Dwight McNeil. I think you don't get the kudos. He That's deserves. actually a good shout. Yeah. Uh, I actually, you know when we did our top English wingers, I actually think he should have gone over Sancho in my list. <laughs> I, I went with Garner, but that's a good shout. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> I, w I went think, with... Yeah. <laughs> you bet Calvin Lewin. <laughs> Don't say no, no. I, went, I went with Dobbin. Dobbin. You see that tackle he did the other day? It was fucking class. <laughs> and they blew... Uh, the ref gave it as a fucking free kick and Mate, a yellow. Did you it was ridiculous. because of that tackle? No, he stuck out on me. <laughs> Mate, he's barely played. Yeah, un exactly. Underrated, mate. Get him on the pitch. <laughs> what position does he play? He's a winger. Okay, well done. Um, Nottingham Luton. Forest. No, Luton. No, Luton. No, Forest. Nottingham Forest. I've got Luton below them. No, Nottingham Forest. Luton are below them. It's Nottingham Forest. Luton are below Nottingham Forest. Yeah, but because of the games today, but when I did this, yeah, when we did this, today. For sake. Yeah, we got uh, Nottingham Forest. <laughs> I'm going to go with. I still think Alanga's underrated. That's my player, man. I got Anthony Alanga. Yeah. Chris Wood, one of the pl uh, most informed strikers in the league right now. He Best goals per minute. Shit. Is he still? Um, and Tom, um, you know a lot about him, goal? don't you? Huh? When was uh, his last goal? It might be in the Newcastle. He's fucking shit, <laughs> he's mate. Uh, I've got Anthony Alanga. He's, he's a big stiff. He's idiot. already repaid the, uh, his value. How? Him. Bosch going hatching against Newcastle. <laughs> yeah, it was in class. He did come into Prime Ronaldo there. Yeah, man. He, uh, uh, Luton, I got Doughty. I don't think he's underrated though. But I didn't want, I couldn't put Ross Barkley. Yeah. I'm going to go with Benny. Uh, Chong for me. <laughs> needs some more. <laughs> He needs more game time, why? but one of, one of the, you, one of the best, one of the best prospects. What foot is Chong? Um, he's uh, left foot. Yeah. What, what, why do you love him so much? He's just a fantastic he player. Don't you remember he said <laughs> shit, didn't he? No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. He's, he's an upcoming talent. <laughs> he and felt bad. Yeah, he's fantastic. He did, genuinely. He's fantastic. Did, you, did Chong message you saying, mate, that's really hard? I felt bad. <laughs> right, here we got Brentford next. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Uh, I'll put Norgard. Um, that's a good shout he's just so consistent one. plays every game just always puts in a solid 7 out of 10 mm. I went for the other one as I like to call him Jensen Jensen yeah <laughs> <laughs> here we go I put Tony <laughs> he hasn't played much this season howdy guys today's episode of Pitchside is brought to you as always by our friends over at Super 6 and that means once again there is a 250,000 jackpot up for grabs but you've got to be in it to win it and remember it's completely free to play you can also compete against myself Areev and Tom in the official Super 6 Pitchside Mini League the biggest ever I must add using the code PTCH23 we'll also be giving away a £100 classic football shirt voucher every single round so get over to the app or the Super 6 website and simply predict six correct scores to become £250,000 rich. And remember, it's completely free to play. Follow the link in the description down below to sign up now. <laughs> More up here. 
Everyone's, everyone's looking forward to Tony coming back. Nah, no everyone's pain. looking forward to Tony coming back. But respect him more, pay man. He is crap. Put some his nah, up. <laughs> you don't see his goal against Spurs? Wait, every that time was he, a nice goal, actually. Celebration as well. No, sorry. The goal against the week before was better. Um, when he, he took it, uh, when they won, when Tony come back, uh, who'd they play? Uh, who Forrest, did they play? Was Forrest, Forrest, yeah. Really All he does goal. is just wa- rile with the other team. I'd love him. Hey, though. that's an important role though. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. Palace. I put Jeffrey Schlupp. <laughs> I actually think that's the guy. I actually think that's good because you can't have Eze or Elise because they're just unreal. Yeah. And then Jeffrey Sharp just does do all right. Even when they lost against uh, Brighton, he was like their only decent player. Mm. Why are you laughing so much? <laughs> I'm laughing because I saw him up. Who you put? Will Hughes. <laughs> I don't mind it. Yeah, seven out of ten. He, actually, he, he played, he played he like all the games. He this played season. every game. I don't mind it, man. I'm gonna go with. <sighs> Who's underrated at Palace? If you haven't put anyone on your list, you should Tyreek put Mitchell. First, really? I was going to go Tyreek Mitchell, but I think he's right. I'll go with Tyreek Mi- Mitchell, but I think people do know he's good. Yeah. Then you should have put Schlupp then. No. <laughs> I don't really write Jeffrey Schlupp. Right, Fulham? Fulham. Now, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out because obviously he's rated, but you don't think highly it's enough. towards the end of his career and never thinks he's washed, but he's actually just not washed at all. And William. Yeah, I'm going to go with Anthony Robinson. He's been one of the best yeah, left backs in the season. Yeah, he has been. William's mine as well. I've been a big supporter of him since last season. Yeah, we like William. Yeah, William. Oh. He's class. I don't. Do you like William? No, 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 no. What no. about Willie? Um, and? Bournemouth? Bournemouth. What? Bournemouth. Oh, I'll put some, uh, Semenyo. Semenyo. Was it? Semenyo. 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 Um, yeah, because he's always a handful. Mine is... He is though, isn't he? He's always a handful. <laughs> Mine is slightly rogue, but every time I watch Bournemouth, I think he's honestly quality. And I know he, he's not a young kid, but fuck it, Ryan Christie, I think... I have him! He's excellent. I have Every Christie. time I watch we Bournemouth... We actually agree. He, he dictates... For, like Honestly, I, I think he's really, really <laughs> underrated. Uh, nice. ma- maybe I've just caught him on games when he's been good, but... I think he's a really clean. I was going to go with Alex Scott, not the not to be confused with the female, because Alex Scott will play for England in a few years. But oh. I think people know he's that good. Hi, Christy. Yeah, yeah, Christy. Hi, uh, Moving Hi. on to your Wolves. Uh, now I've got Cunha. Um, I don't think people know how well. good he is or going to be. I agree. I think now. I think re- only in the last few weeks he's I, been starting I, to be I, rated. I have been telling people about Cunha, but sorry. Uh, I'm going to go with Jao Gomez, another one. He won't be at Wolves in a few years. He's top level. I don't think Cunha will be at Wolves. Yeah, but that... It cost he could you, go to Barcelona. It'll cost you a lot of money. money. Yeah, but it's, yeah, Jao Gomez is the underrated one at Wolves. Or or Tommy Doyle. Tommy Doyle dictates games really nicely. Um, you put Lewis? Cunha? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. cool. Uh, moving on to Chelsea. <sighs> Gusto. I don't, I don't. I really don't rate Gusto. I, really I, I think he's all. I think he's quite good. I, don't I think he's. Quite, I think him. he's class. I think every time he plays, he's just good. Always gets an assist. Gets involved, filling in for one of the best right backs in the league, in the I world. I don't like Chris him. James. I like Gusto, and I'm standing by. I think he's underrated. So. Um, I'm gonna go with. I can't believe Mad, Mad Ah, oh, oh, he's not underrated though, is he? I don't. I can't believe you don't rate Gusto. I don't rate him at all. Actually, no, underrated. I'm going to go Mudrick because of people like you. <laughs> He's better than what you say he is. He's overrated. He's overrated. He is overrated. No one rates him, so I can go 100 million pound, pound player. How much he bought for? Doesn't matter. 100 million pound player. Quite Doesn't rated, matter. Though. The way you rate him, he's underrated. So suck I'd actually rather Anthony um, I just put fuck me, no comment because I looked at the team and I was like, these are genuinely all shit. No, they're not. Oh, they are. Well, they're not, they're not underrated. No one on the... They're all perfectly rated, if not overrated. Genuinely. You think Sterling's overrated? No, he's just rated. He's, Kung he's Kung perfectly Kung. rated. But Kung Kung, everyone knows how good Nkunku is, though. Like, they're, they're yeah, perfectly rated. I do agree. There's no one... I don't look at any of their team thinking, oh, they're not getting enough uh, props. Nah. Right. Uh, Newcastle. I struggled with this because we have to put up with him. So I feel like everyone's overrated. But, uh, hey, look. He's been preaching it all year and i got to say, I think Sean Longstar's underrated. Um, I think he is. I think Pete. I'm going to go people, with... People still think he's shit, but he plays week in, week out. He scores goals. I don't think people think he's shit. He's just not as good as he made out. I I've think, sort of went back on myself really recently. Yeah. <laughs> I think Longstar's underrated. He, he's a good player. He, he does he better what he than Curtis Jones? I'd have him over Curtis Jones, yeah. Oh, Jesus. 
I think I'm going to... The fact he doesn't start every week, I think, validates me saying this. I'm going to go Livermento because I think he's really good. Uh, I don't think he's underrated, though. I think he's just Yeah, like, obviously no player to New, in Newcastle is underrated by you because you think they're all the no, best players I think in the are, world. No, I think some are underrated. If anything, I think more are underrated. But um, I think Livermento is Livermento like, should be starting for Newcastle every week and he doesn't. Therefore, I think he's underrated. I think that's valid. No? Yeah. So uh, my cock. Jo- <laughs> you wish. Uh, Joe Linton for me. Um, this guy is people legit. rate him though he's no uh, people like you Dawn you, you call, are, I do rate you, him you the slander you, you give, just you, overrate him nah, no, you're I'll just say he has no ball control you're he's fucking not, mental he's not Brazilian uh, you're mental he's he's one of the best <laughs> on the ball at the club he's fucking when the ball he doesn't no, look pretty fu- it doesn't look pretty but I swear to god when he has it he's strong he knows how to place his body he's aggressive he fucking old start a fight it's mint man you can say that though was, was Alex Brazilian yeah, but he's a defender. He, he, he's put, and him and Bruno together, unreal. T- honestly, him being out of the team for the rest of the season is like massive loss. Like he's huge. But you're gonna go and beat him. Moving on yeah. to my Brighton, uh, Pascal my Gross f- plays every game. Grump. Always puts in performances. I don't think we can be calling. Everyone, everyone knows. Gross. No, wait, wait, no wait, one's. You, no one's calling Gross. Everyone loves. Him. Everyone rates him. No, but I don't, he just goes under the radar. I feel like Rob just gets a bit. Overlooked. It's nah, not a look, Rob. Nah, nah, he's not underrated. Well, in my opinion, he is. So <laughs> there you go. Hold that. Um, I put Welbeck. That's not a bad. Still shot. doing a job, man. That First time. Actually, not a bad. I've shot. always rated him, man. I'm gonna go skin type with Arsenal. skin type Ar- skin tight Arsenal shirts. Okay, my reasoning for this is I think he will be playing top four football very soon. Joe Pedro. I think he is rated though. I know, oh, but oh, that, yeah, you can't. I know, but I don't think many. Are, I don't think many are not rated at Brighton. I, I think he's the one who's highest rated though, isn't he? Really? No, he yeah, is. They've, they've you not... say Lamptey. I don't think he's underrated. Right. Yeah. Uh, West Ham. Alvarez. I conferred with conferred with a West Ham support for this. Wow. Who? And he told me Emerson. Apparently. Yeah, they do like him actually. West Ham he told me like that he's, him. he he told me he's like one of the top five players in the league at yeah. the moment. Where I was like, right, that's settled out. Okay. I'm going to go with. I think Alvarez, man. I think when yeah. he's not playing, they're missing a lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think again, I think he's right. Yeah, fair enough. If you think he's not rated right, highly enough, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Zuma. Hmm, you can't be doing that. Like, can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. Sir. I've that's chosen. So eat my ass. You wish. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Uh, uh, Man U, huh? Manu. There's no way he's underrated. People don't realize how good he is, though. Everyone thinks he's a. Woman. Everyone no, thinks he's a no, but he's eighteen. Chris. He he's a better. He's better than a wonder kid. He's generational talent. Nah, this is not. I think generational talent. He's a talent. fucking B Tech Miley, no. and because he's playing for Man United, Sorry. all of a sudden he's Sorry. fucking excited and unreal. Sorry, he's a B Tech Miley. Tommy, Tommy, you just said he's a B Tech Lewis Miley. Yes. Are you mental? Oh, it's good. It's good. Goal mental? against Wolves. And fucking Miley's bossing it against Mbappe and PSG. Fuck off, man. Mine is better than Miley. He's not like. He is. You can't. No. It's, it's the man Miley's United very good. Miley's very, very good. But Miley's better, bro. Watch him, man. He, he glides around the pitch. He's different level. He is. What? You... I, I, I can't wait for uh, because I know wait, this is going to age so much better, man. Really? Yeah. But you actually I, think Miley's clear me, of I, Miley. I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't think he's clear. I, I, and this isn't even me being it's biased. It's tighter than what Tom is saying, but they're both sensational, but you can't say Miley's clear of Miley. Miley's generational talent. Oh, no, mate. Oh, they're getting sore. It's just a Man United taxes. No, it's the not. Of, it's no, crazy it's the amount not. of generational talents Man United's got, but I don't know where they all are. Who, who, who else is? Fucking Rashford. Is he generational talent? No one's he really has at standard. Makeda, he was Janazai. Why they are you bringing up Janazai and Makeda? I've seen it. There's a man, there's a, they were generational There's a Man United, man United, man United tax, but genuinely, I've never been more impressed watching a player but the biggest than Miley the world, at The biggest 16, clubs in the world the should composure. have. They should have the best academies. Yeah, but... No, I, but we're not saying about every Man United player's generational talent. I, I'm saying Mainu looks like he could be a general na- national talent. He looks incredible. He just bosses the middle. He's 18 I, years I old. Genuinely, yeah, Lewis Miley's incredible. Younger. He could be a generational talent, for sure. I genuinely don't think you would. You mustn't have just seen seen Miley play as much as Mino we've genuinely watched, we've watched, we watched most Newcastle games with you no, hang we've never seen some more Lewis, composed, man. Are you? we're not saying we don't rate Miley at all we think I he's unreal not. but you're making out as if Miley is just leagues above Miley yeah okay not leagues but he's better he is man he he's just their is. own uh, Spurs wait you know, I didn't do mine I'm yeah, sorry. I didn't do his oh sorry McTomney 
Man United fans always give him a bit of stick. Yeah. And, I, and I remember someone said that he's like the litmus test. If you think McTominay's good, then you don't know ball. He, uh, whenever I see him, he's scoring fucking important goals for them I think when they right. need it. Yeah, so. I agree. Harry Maguire. Yeah. Harry Maguire is underrated. The amount of slack and yeah. stick he gets, he's yeah, underrated. He just gets, mm -hmm. he just gets bullied. He's a, he's a decent centre-half. Um, Spurs. Ooh. Put Van Den Pen. There's no Van way. Van Den Ven. Everyone rates him. But I feel like everyone like, oh, Romero. He's some people's team of the year. Yeah, but everyone's like, Romero's the best centre back in the world. <laughs> I've got to say this because I'm guilty of it myself for Charleston. I've been, I slayed him for so long, but he's just went and scored yeah. eight and eight, so. I think I agree with you there. I it's think Richardson is underrated. I, I said they need to get rid of him and yeah, he's... I was going to go Poro, but again, I think people do rate I always went Poro. Because I think he's arguably the best right back in the league this season, other than probably Trent. Um, as well. Okay. Villa. I was torn between two here because I, I wanted to say Douglas Louise, but I feel like people are finally rating him. He's not him. underrated. So I went John McGinn. I don't mind that. I'm going to go with... Because I underrated him as well, uh, Bailey. He's probably been their best winger this season. He's keeping DRB out of the team who we all raved about as well. I went Langley. Yeah, he's all right. Well, you're not like that. <laughs> I, I'm not a big fan of him. I think Even Emery came out, he said how clever he is and tactical and shit. <laughs> oh yeah, because like he's going to slate <laughs> him. He's like Troy Deeney. you get A in fucking GCC maths? I was like, what's <laughs> yeah. going on here? He's so clever, he's my so Langley. He's so clever, Langley. <laughs> Uh, Arsenal I've gone Gabriel because yeah. everyone talks about how world class Libra is but Gabriel oh, is up there I think your one is obvious it's Ramsdale surely no I agree Gabriel I'll oh, put Ramsdale mm. I, I think you, you just got bullied this year I agree so, I no do reason. agree with you in that case yeah City Bernardo Silva because plays every game but some I know people obviously do rate they know how good he is mm. but he never gets the headlines he always mm. just there, just trolling along, doing great stuff. I don't know. I, I think, don't think, but you know. Mm, I've gone Nath that. Nathan Aki. Ortega. There's no other players who, everyone's class and he yeah. just, he's just good. It was and hard, everyone, it was hard, it was hard. He, looked, yeah. he just looked at like a second choice keeper, which he is, but Oscar he's very good. Uh, yeah, Oscar's getting that. People know him because of me. Uh, <laughs> Liverpool. Just joking before, oh, you think she's discovered him? <laughs> Liverpool. Endo. Curtis Jones. Jota. One of the best finishers in the league. He's a good finisher. He's a bit clunky. But I don't understand, like, when Salah gets back, he, like, he always just starts on the bench and super sub, but well, he, I think he's class. Mm. And he's proving it now. He's getting a bunch of starts. He's scoring goals. I think he's just class. Well, well, the whole league done right there. That is the whole That's league, guys. Let us know what you think dusted. in the comments down below. But alas, that is the end of this episode if you have enjoyed it make sure you drop a like and subscribe where it's five stars on apple Podcasts and of course spotify tom could you lend the guys a hand and tell them how to uh join our super six minute league i don't like the way you built, built me up for that but it is ptch 23 to join our league there you go guys it's been a pleasure <laughs> as always we are we don't know the city brentford result yet did we mention reeve why reeve isn't here oh he's uh, on holiday he he's, even on holiday. He, he's quit yeah, and quit as well. Yeah, he was a yeah. Um, anyways, bye. Right, bye.